In this video, I show you how to delete projects in Shotcut. Hi everyone, my name is Joe and welcome to Ubitronics. On this channel, I show you how to use open source software. Today, we're looking at deleting projects in Shotcut. So to demonstrate this, let's open up Shotcut and create a new project. As you can see, I've already created one project called Test, so I'm just going to create another called Test2. It's going to open up a blank project for me. If I go over to the File Explorer, I've got my first test project there, and then my new test project just here. Now, the way I create projects is that I go into that project, and now I'll paste all of my associated files into this location here. So any videos I'll put into the project folder, like so. If you don't keep your files all in the same project folder, then deleting files later on can be quite difficult to do. There are examples where you do not want to keep your project files in your project folder, and that might be if you're sharing a file. So for example, if I was using this bicycle file throughout three or four different videos, I might want to keep it in a central location so all of my files and my project folders can aim towards it, but they won't, if I deleted that project, it won't delete the file. So there are examples of when you don't want to use this method, but generally speaking, I would imagine you wanting to use your video footage for one video, and this is the method that I would use to create the video. So then you know all of your video files are in the same location and the correct location. So if you want to delete, edit, move, or do anything else with your project, know exactly where the files are. Now, you'll have seen all of this before, but into the playlist, I'll drag two videos, and now I can start using the videos in my project. Okay, so let's imagine that's the video that I wanted to create. I've now saved it, and all of the files are in my one location under my project folder. If I come out of Shotcut and go back into Shotcut, You'll now see I've got on my recent projects, test two and test. Test two is the one that I've just created and test is another one that I had previously created for demonstration. I can now double click, go straight back into the project that I just created. But now let's imagine we want to delete the project. If you've created all of your files in the same location, the best way to do this is just to go to that file location and delete the whole folder. You'll have to have Shotcut closed in order to do that. And then it will delete. Now if I go back into Shotcut, as you can see, test two is still there in the recent projects list. It still thinks that that project exists. If I open it, there's down here, failed to open. All it doesn't do is remove it. To remove it from this list, come up to settings, Go to Clear Recent on Exit, and then when you close Shotcut and reopen it again, your recent projects pane will now be clear. It will also remove projects that you had available to you previously. If you want to load those back into the recent projects pane, click into Settings, take off Clear on Recent, otherwise it's going to keep on clearing it every time you close Shotcut, and then open up the file that you might want to be used again. Now, if you go shortcut and reopen it, your quick link has come back. You do need to open each one of your projects for it to reappear into the recent projects list. And depending on how many projects you have, you may not want to do too many of them, but if you've just got one that you're going to need to use or a couple, then that can be quite helpful. And the main point of doing that is to clear off deleted ones that you could no longer access, so you're not getting confused between different project file folders. So I hope that's been helpful. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.